Maltese versus Shih Tzu. Choosing between these two adorable dogs is a tough decision for anyone to make. While these two dogs have many comparable qualities, there are some differences you should be aware of before you make the final decision. In this video, we will evaluate the differences between the Maltese and Shih Tzu breeds, so you can make an informed comparison. So let's start with appearance difference. The Shih Tzu is slightly bigger than the Maltese, although not by that much. In general, they're noticeably heavier than the Maltese, however, their height is similar and can even be shorter depending on the litter and individual puppy. The Shih Tzu is more prone to weight problems than the Maltese. The Maltese will ordinarily stay slimmer, depending on the quality of diet and amount of exercise that they receive on a weekly basis. The Maltese is perfect if you're looking for a very small dog for your apartment or condo. They typically don't need much space outside to run around in, and you can even train them to use the bathroom inside. The Shih Tzu is perfect if you're okay having a slightly bigger canine that needs to go out every day on a walk for 30 minutes. Number 2. Temperament Difference The Maltese is an easygoing, docile, and sweet-tempered breed that is also playful and easy to train. Since they are more sensitive than the average dog, they require a great deal of affection and social engagement. They have a moderate degree of energy and require modest physical activity. Shih Tzus are a little dog breed with moderate emotional capabilities. They are not the most sensitive canine breed. Although Shih Tzus enjoy spending as much time as possible with their owners, they lack great energy and are not the most lively of dogs. They enjoy socializing a great deal, but do not require a great deal of activity to maintain their health. Number 3. Shedding Difference As I said earlier, the Maltese breed sheds a bit now and then. On the other hand, the Shih Tzus don't. If you're not a fan of shedding, the latter may be an excellent option for you. Still, unlike other breeds, the Maltese sheds only a little bit. Further, while Shih Tzus don't do such, they still need constant grooming due to their coat's continuous growth. Of course, if you're not into coats messing up all around the house, the Shih Tzu won't put you down. If you don't mind a bit of shedding, nothing is wrong with taking a Maltese home. Number 4. Stranger Friendly The Maltese is an extremely sociable breed with a minimal biting tendency. They have a great capacity for adaptation and get along well with strangers. Additionally, they get along well with other dogs and children, which makes them ideal for outdoor activities and living in the family home. Although the Shih Tzu is not the most child-friendly breed of dog, it appears to get along well with other cats and dogs. They are known to be accepting of newcomers and are not aggressive or snappy. Number 5. Grooming Requirements Both of these gorgeous dogs possess long, luxurious hair that requires a significant commitment to care that includes daily brushing and regular visits to the groomer. On the bright side, neither breed sheds very much. The hair length of these breeds also means it needs to be kept from their eyes to avoid limiting their vision and causing eye irritation. The Shih Tzu comes in many colors, Whereas the Maltese dog is the quintessential little white dog, it's the only color they come in. Frequent bathing is required to keep their coat looking snowy rather than discolored. Number 6. Exercise Needs Both the Maltese and Shih Tzu need plenty of opportunities for exercise. So you should ensure they receive a minimum of 30 minutes of exercise per day, although upwards of 60 minutes is ideal. Since the Maltese have higher energy levels than Shih Tzu's, they're typically slimmer than Shih Tzu's. For this reason, it's extra important to ensure your Shih Tzu gets on the higher end of the exercise requirements. Of course, the amount of exercise your dog needs will depend on their age, regardless of whether they're a Maltese or Shih Tzu breed. Once your dog reaches their senior years, they won't be able to exercise as long or as intensely as when they were younger. Maltese have a life expectancy of 12 to 15 years, whereas Shih Tzu's have a larger range of 10 to 18 years. So you'll need to observe your dog and use your best judgment exercise-wise for when their body starts slowing down. Number 8. Which dog breed is more expensive? If you're on a budget, Shih Tzu's are a better option than Maltese, whereas you can buy a Shih Tzu for around $500. A Maltese puppy of the same age will cost you around twice the price. You might wonder, what's the reason for such a vast price difference? It comes down to supply and demand. There's a greater number of Shih Tzu's on the market, 
A Shih relatively larger size also means that it's easier for them to give birth, often requiring less time and money from the breeder. Of course, you don't have to spend so much on buying a Shih Tzu or Maltese. Instead, adopting one of these breeds from your local animal shelter is an excellent way to be kinder to your wallet and rescue an animal in need. Number 9 Training Difference Both the Maltese and Shih Tzu breeds can do well when it comes to training. Since they are intelligent little dogs, they can learn the basic commands you can give. Of course, this only applies when they receive consistent and patient training. As I said, Shih Tzus can be a bit stubborn. Thus, the Maltese remains to be easier to train. When training either of these two dogs, it would be best to start at an early age. It would also take a long time to potty train both pets. Number 10 Health Problems Collapsed trachea, hypoglycemia, and white dog shaker syndrome are all possible Maltese health problems. In dogs, WBSS is a disorder characterized by widespread head and body tremors. This disorder is sometimes referred to as little white shaker syndrome because of its prevalence in small white dog breeds such as the Maltese. Shih Tzus are also at an increased risk for intervertebral disc disease due to the disproportion of their short legs and long bodies. This can cause extreme back pain and rear limb paralysis in the breed. The Shih Tzu is also prone to eye problems including cataracts, progressive retinal atrophy, and retinal detachment. One study found that most common eye problems originate as abnormalities in the shape of the eyelids. Responsible breeders should screen for genetic eye problems. 